Hello fellow cinephiles, Film Guru here. So for those who are new to the channel, my name's Sean, also known as Film Guru, and I have started this channel to help my say on particular movies, TV shows, and a variety of other film content. So thanks for joining me today. Today I'll be reviewing the new Candyman. This was directed by Nia DiCosta, and it stars Yayi Abdul Mati II, Tiana Paris, Vanessa Williams, and a variety of others. The film focuses on Anthony and his partner, Bri Brianna. They have moved into a new loft in Cabrini Green Towers. Anthony is an up-and-coming artist, and he's trying to find his next inspiration for a string of paintings he wants to do. Ultimately, he runs into William, played by Coleman Domingo. He begins to tell Anthony the real story behind Candyman and the myth about him. In the details revealed, Anthony starts to find inspiration in this macabre sort of story, and he begins creating a, a whole collection of paintings and r rolling around this. Things slowly start to get out of control. People start to die. And the more that Anthony looks into Candyman and the myth around him, the more he puts himself and the people around him in danger. And he's got to ultimately work out what's going on before it's too late. This was a film that was, been long, it was delayed and was meant to come out last year and we didn't get it till now because of the state of things in the world. And I'm glad we are able to get this film. When I first heard about it, I wasn't quite sure, and then I started to read about it and became really fascinated by it. And I wanted to see what they were going to do with this story, as I'm a big fan of the 1992 original film with Tony Todd and Virginia Madison. That film I really loved. I loved everything about it, and well, it was really, really well done. So it was interesting to see what they want to do with this sort of storyline. I knew some details going in, but not everything. The film didn't quite go the way I expected, but I kind of liked that. There's a quirky strangeness to the movie. But I kind of liked that. I found that a bit more refreshing than just doing a carbon copy. This really goes out of its way to do something different and original. It talks about aspects of the original film and then there's the myth around the Virginia Madison's character, Helen, and how she looks like a, a crazy person and the myth is built around her. I kind of like that. It looks at the idea of Candyman, and, but they evolve that concept and they look at Candyman in a different way. And I thought that was refreshing. And I really enjoyed the direction that they took this film. I thought all the acting was good. I think Yahya Abdul Martin II is really great here as Anthony. He's a character you sort of connect to and gravitate towards. He's really the only character in the film that feels relatable in my opinion. The Brianna character played by Tiana Paris is an interesting character as well, but I just didn't connect to her as much as I really wanted to. They do sort of thing with her character as well, Brianna, that there's sort of a backstory about her father and, and why she's got into the art world. But I, I, I don't think this served a big part in the film. They didn't really go anywhere with this particular aspect of her past. But I still found her a kind of an interesting character. I think um, Vanessa Williams, who appears, who was in the original film and also appears here, she only has one scene in the movie, but I really love that scene. It's revealing certain information to Anthony he didn't know, and, and it just sort of, sort of combines both the original film and this new one together in a great way and I really like that scene. I really like the world they've built here. I, like I said, mentioned, I liked all the references to the original film and how they took story elements from that and added to this. I thought that was really great. I thought the film started really strongly and it ended really strongly and I kind of like what they were doing there. I think the death scenes are quite well done and elaborate and different here and I kind of like the fact that we don't see all the gruesome things happen. It's more hearing, hearing sound effects or seeing blood or, or things happening off camera. And I kind of like that. This film didn't really need to be as really gory or anything, but it just needed to express that. And I thought it was really inventive and interesting ways to go about doing that. And I don't know if this is a spoiler or not. The way we see Candyman, we only really see him through, through the mirror. And I kind of like that. And they sort of take the Candyman story and, and they expand on it and they show it in a different way because of the story they're telling it takes on a different mantle than what we've seen before. Now look, there are things I didn't like as much or things I, I'm not sure how I felt about. Firstly, it sort of loses its way in the middle. It doesn't quite know what direction to go or what it's trying to do. And it feels more drawn out than it really needed to be. And, and the candy man we see in this is sort of this voiceless, faceless figure. He isn't really intimidating or scary like Tony Todd was in the original. I just felt he was just there and it didn't really create this scary feeling that you sort of really needed for that character. And it really isn't a scary movie. There's some choices of music that just sort of made scenes feel a bit weird and odd. 
The other thing I didn't like is it's set in the art world, where there's pretentious, obnoxious, annoying characters that I just really didn't care about. Except for the two leads, I just didn't care about the other characters. They just felt too self-absorbed for me to really connect to, and I felt a real disconnect when these characters came on screen. I liked it, but not as much as I wanted to, and I didn't think it surpassed or came really that close to the original, in my opinion. Final thoughts. In the end, this is a really interesting interpretation of the Candyman myth and storyline, taking different characters, connecting to the original film, but also crafting and creating its own thing and being its own movie, and telling its own story in its unique way. I'm gonna give Candyman three and a half out of five. I thought it was solid and interesting and an interesting direction to take this particular franchise. I just didn't love it as much as I really wanted to. Anyway, that's all for me today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit subscribe down the bottom, follow me on Facebook and Letterboxd. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.